Smile. As you may have noticed from my previous videos that I've been taking quite a few Polaroids lately. Hey, check this out, I got a new camera. And I've actually had time to use it on a shoot already so I can show you some pictures. And I've also been posting some of those Polaroids in my Getty portfolio. So, to do that, I've had to use a scanner. But I don't really have a good scanner. I borrowed one. I borrowed one from my mom. And as you can probably imagine, when you borrow a scanner from your mother, it's not really made for scanning high-res prints. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm happy with the photos that I've scanned and I'm really happy about the scanner. Um, so yeah, thanks, mom. But as I've said, I'm pretty sure it's not made for scanning um, photographs. They kind of ended up being a little too small for my taste. So I decided to use a software that I think I've talked about before, which is Gigapixel AI, that uses machine learning to upscale the photos. And I've actually never used this software to, to upscale old photos before. I've only used that before to enhance images that were already pretty good to make them top notch. So a couple of days ago, when I used this software to upscale the Polaroids that I took, I noticed a new feature that I haven't seen before. I don't really think the feature is new, it's just that I haven't really used the software in a while, so it's new to me. And the feature I'm talking about is called Face Recovery. Let me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get this scanner out of the way. There we go. So that I can show you uh, what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are. This is Gigapixel AI. As far as I know, it's the latest version, but do not quote me on that. This is 6.3.3. So, whatever that means. Uh, now, I've got a bunch of photos right here. I have a scan that I did with a pile or heap of photos. Um, so let me just show you, I'm just gonna, this is the before slider. And as you can see, I'm just gonna set all these to auto just in case. No, let's put that to standard, sorry. I'm gonna set the settings to auto. I'm gonna make sure that the face recovery is on. As you can see, there's a slider here that you can change the strength of this as well. Mm, I'm just gonna let uh, Gigapixel AI do its thing. You can see down here that it's sort of calculating and apply the uh, AI model to the photo right now. There's a lot of waiting on this channel, isn't there? A lot of awkward moments. There we go. All right, so this is before. Now watch this. Look at her face. How good is that? Look at that one. How is that even possible? Look at her teeth. Look at her eyes. That makes no sense. Obviously you can see some other strange artifacts down here uh, that are not so impressive. But I mean face-wise, this is pretty incredible. Sometimes, sometimes it's almost too much. I mean if you want to keep that, um, if you want to keep that sort of like retro old school look. <laughs> I don't know if this face up here to the left, that's almost, almost too sharp. You sort of lose that uh, old photo vintage look that you that you may want for this. Let me show you another one. Uh, I'm just gonna move this one. Uh, let's see, let's see what we have. Here we go. So before, as you can see, this face is um, pretty blurry. And side notes, we're also upscaling the images right now. As you can see, we're doubling the size of these images. So that's the face we get after we've upscaled the photo. <laughs> just, did you see that? That was just a sneak peek. Original. Updated face. I don't even, uh, I don't really, I don't really know what to say about that. Let's check this other face out. You ready for this? <laughs> yep. That's a face. That's a face. 
I don't know what this is about though. I think what I would do is, after upscaling this, I'd probably um, composite it in Photoshop. Maybe, you know, paint out the stuff that's a little bit too sharp, uh, bring back some of the, the softness of the original photos. Uh, sort of, you know, do some selective, selective Photoshopping. Uh, definitely paint this thing out, whatever that is. Let's have a look at this face as well. Just let it update for a second. You good? Good, yeah. Yeah, me too. Not bad. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that, before and after. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Not only is the image itself twice the size, we get so much detail back in the face at the same time. That's crazy. That's just, I don't know, that's just something I wanted to show you in case you're thinking about, um, I don't know, scanning some old photos. Because if you are, I think, I think Gigapixel might be a really good way to get some, some, some very nice detail back in your old photos, if that's something that uh, you're interested in. Anyway, really short video, that's all I wanted to, uh, to show you. I was actually, you know, working on these photos, uploading them to my uh, stock portfolio when I when I realized that this was a thing. So, yeah, exciting stuff. If you if you want to try this software out yourself, if you haven't already, I do have a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, so you'll be helping out the channel as well if you end up uh, purchasing the software in the future. But I'm pretty sure they have a, a tryout version as well that you can just jump into and play around for a little bit, if that's something you want to do. All right. Um, Yes, that's it. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot to show you the portrait we took in the beginning of the video. That's you. Kind of. <laughs>